guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Tangie the Caper's wife, and these are the Caper's kids, and we just got a package. My friend Sonia that lives in the Netherlands, she is, um, you, you probably see uh, her name in the comments sometimes as Cooking with Sonia. She has a fantastic blog, which I'm going to link, which I'm going to link in the description box below. But um, she is originally from the United States, but her family has moved to um, the Netherlands, and she thought it would be fun to send us a package with a bunch of goodies in it. So uh, we're gonna do an unboxing. We're gonna go through all of the goodies and see what she sent. Okay, so as soon as I open it, there's like a burlap bag and it's very colorful. Let's see what we've got. Oh my word. Oh, how cute. 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 It's like a big, oh my goodness. Okay, it's very heavy. A really cool burlap sack. All right, she writes a letter. It says, hello, Wheat family. Isn't the YouTube world amazing? I am sending you a bunch of goodies all the way from the Netherlands and never would have been able to had you, Tangie, not started a channel. I decided to send a variety of things for you to try. Since Christmas is coming, or in our case, Santa Claus, celebrated on December 5th, which is the gift giving day, I wanted to send along all the treats they enjoy here. Along with your very own Santa Claus bag, which can be used for anything you really, for anything you want really, but it's comparable to the bag of gifts that Santa brings. So let's dive into it. I'm The reason that I'm kind of like freaking out is because I read number one. Okay, number one, what's it say? Chocolate letters. Each person in the household will get their initial in chocolate. Awesome. So, I think that's what's right here. Yeah. So, we have... Oh, my God. oh how cute. Oh, T shit. for Tangy. It says... P for Ch Parker. So. E, for e for Emily. And then even a J for Jack. So. Um, and, of course, everything in the back is in Dutch, I guess. Dutch. I don't know if you can see that. That is really cool. Um, marzipan? Marzipan. Well, in English it's marzipan. Um, they sure love this stuff here, and a lot of the baked goods have that in the center. World thing. Yes. Oh, and it looks like fruit. Cute. Whoa. Huh. That's okay, cool. number three is Stroop waffles. The famous caramel waffles. These are eaten with coffee. All cookies here are served at coffee time. Nice. Tangie, after you pour yourself a cup of coffee, place the Stroop waffle on top of your coffee cup and allow the steam to warm up the waffle. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Oh, here they are. Ooh. Oh, cute. Those look like the things that Joel makes. Yeah. You see that? No, not Joel, Chuck. Chuck, yeah, Chuck. Oh my goodness, I cannot. All right, so can't wait to do that. All right, the next thing is Dutch cocoa. Tangie, this stuff is so amazing. This is the real Dutch chocolate and has a much deeper flavor and is one of the most requested items I have to make sure that I put into the box. It adds a better cocoa flavor to your baked goods, they say. Oh, then say, Hershey's chocolate does. So use this in chocolate recipes that call for just baking powder and not the soda. Dutch cocoa is not acidic and does not respond well to the baking soda. So that is this right here. Cacao. <laughs> Cacao. Blookers. Um, Cacao. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the next one is Chocolate Crude Note. Oh, I know, I am butchering this so bad. Crude Note Chocolate Spice Nut. Ooh. Yes, this is it. Right? Yeah. Crude Note. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is it. Yeah, this is it. Okay. Okay, so it says, these are also served around the holidays and I adore these. This flavor along with another cookie I sent you is the dominant holiday flavor here as well as throughout the year. It is a speculous spice that is used. Okay. I can't even begin to read all the stuff that's all right. in it. Are we going to go ahead and try it? No, not yet. We're, we're going to go sample it. some of these. Uh, but anyway, so that's that. Oh, cool. Sonia, this is so much fun. Thank you. Okay. I like to eat things on their breads that we would just use on top of frosting to decorate. 
The weird thing is how you eat these. You don't pick a spread and then, and then a sprinkle, but you eat them separately because combining the two is too much for a Dutch person to consider. <laughs> so if you want to be boring, take a slice of bread, sprinkle it with butter, and then pick a sprinkle. But if you want to be bold, then pick a spread and then a sprinkle. The flavors, apple stroop, apple syrup, pindicoss, peanut cheese, or peanut butter. Haha, -ha, no clue why they call it peanut cheese, but there you go. It sprinkles oh. on bread. <laughs> that is so oh, funny. It sprinkles on bread. That is <laughs> too funny. Huh. We've never we'll have that. to save some of these for our surprise guest that's coming next week. Oh yeah! Oh, is that gonna be like a big surprise for like YouTube? Yes. Yeah. It's gonna be so okay. much fun. Oh, right. This is the spread. Oh. That's the spread. That's the spread. These I are the think sprinkles. these are the chocolate nuts. Oh. This is chocolate. Chocolate? I am such a goober. She's talking about the spreads. Okay. So there's the apple stroop. There's the peanut, peanut cheese. Peanut cheese. She says it's what they call it. Peanut cheese. Honing, which is honey. Um, and then chocolate. the pasta, which is basically like, oh, Nutella. And gotcha. And then these are the sprinkles, which she said they put just butter on. We're slow. We'll get it. We'll get it. Okay. <laughs> Coic and speculos spice, which is this that. right here. Okay. Means cookie. So cookie spice. This is the speculous flavor and has things in it like cinnamon, coriander, nutmeg, ginger, cardamom, cloves, and orange zest. It's a bit spicier than they say than say something like pumpkin pie spice, but I will use this in place of that flavor for something different. You can make speculous cookies using this, and if you ever want to make a recipe, let me know and I can translate a good one for you. Okay, cool. I want to smell this. Bacon. Ooh, that smells really good. Bacon cosmok. Mm. Kind of smells like um. Wow, it smells like allspice and nutmeg and yeah. Pumpkin spice. It smells like basically they just took all. It smells like Ooh, this would be good on pumpkin, uh, roasted pumpkin seeds. Oh my gosh, we have to do that. Oh, tiger nuts. We sent you peanuts covered in a crispy coating and the flavor of bacon cos or bacon cheese. Who doesn't love cheesy bacon? Everyone loves these back home and they come in a variety of flavors. That's awesome. Bacon cos. Awesome. I want to try this like that. Okay. Then, speculous cookies, which I guess this is this. Yeah. These are in a Dutch, cook, these are Dutch in a cookie form. They are loved by all and served everywhere. You can eat these all year long and it's kind of like our pumpkin pie spice flavors of the fall. They make everything in that flavor around this time. These are excellent dipped in your coffee or just eaten as is. So there we have it. I really, really hope you enjoyed all of this. And it was such a pleasure to send it. Wishing you all a happy Thanksgiving and a very Merry Christmas. So I was right. This is so awesome. Yes. I was right. Now we are going to sample some yes. of these. Okay, so first we're going to try marzipan. the marzipan thing. Okay. It feels like a cookie. I was thinking it was going to be like a gummy. Okay, here we go. Just take a little plate. It's a little bite. Oh, all right. Mm. It tastes like Play-Doh. It's actually not bad if you give it if you give it a, mm -hmm. give it a chance. Yeah. Um, these are the chocolate spice nuts. All right, again, these are the chocolate, chocolate spice. spice nuts. Mmm, that's really good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm. That's really good. It's like dark chocolate. Uh, covered in milk chocolate. It's like a like, like, a, like a nut though. It doesn't even taste like a nut. It tastes like a cookie. It tastes like the yeah. Little type of cookie. It really does taste like a little chocolate cookie. It's crispy like a cookie covered in. It's really good. Okay. Good. All right. So you want to try these now? Yeah. These are the spice nuts. Spice nuts. These are the speculous flavor with no chocolate. So it's basically flavored with this stuff that tastes that smells like. Uh, so it's like oh, that, in that covered in that without the chocolate. Right. Okay. Yeah. So they look like little ginger snaps. They do look like little ginger snaps. Okay. So cruid, cruid noten, noten. Cruid noten. I know I'm, I'm so butchering these. Cruid noten. Smells good. Tastes like ginger snap. Mm -hmm. That'd be really good with some hot tea. They taste like crackers. Hot chocolate. A hot chocolate. Yeah, those are good. 
They taste like, like graham crackers, kind of. What am I tasting? Ginger snaps. Like a ginger, it's like a ginger snap mixed with a graham cracker. You want to try one of these spice biscuits? Sure. This is fun. Oh, okay. So these are kind of like in a um, cracker. Yeah, like a cracker sleeve. Okay, so these are the spiced biscuits. Spiced biscuits. Oh my gosh. That's really good. Again, there's kind of like a like a really mild ginger snap, sort of. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. really nice. That's a really nice, mild, sweet yeah. flavor. Very good. Very delicious. Oh, uh, give us that um, butter knife. Okay, now let's try. We'll try one of these um, waffles. Now I know she said to try it with coffee, but I don't have any coffee makeup. I drank it all. Ooh, it's very thick. Like one of those Does waffle it have the same texture? Mm, sort of, but like... Oh! Ooh! It has a filling. With car- it's caramel. Is that what she said? Caramel filling? Oh, it smells so good! Mmm! That would be very, 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 very amazing with coffee. Oh my gosh. For sure. I may or may not have to make some coffee now. It's really that seriously is really good. That's very delicious. Like if you like slide it, that's what's the inside feeling. Like. It's really good. Four different flavors. Size. This was the peanut butter, right? Isn't that what she said? Uh, this was the, the chocolate. Does it have a peanut on it? Pentecost, yes. Ow. Oh yeah, totally peanut Let's butter. Just sample it's like natural peanut butter that still has kind of like the oil Here, on top. And this was honey, and then mm -hmm. this was she said like a Nutella. Yeah. Oh no, no, no that's, no, the, that's apple. the apple. That's and then this the is the Nutella. Okay. So we're gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna spread the spread on. Is that chocolate? This fourth, and then uh, yes, she said this is like pretty much Nutella. And then I'm gonna divide them into thirds. I'm gonna whoop you. <laughs> Here, take that off. Okay, ready? Here we go. It tastes like Nutella, but like chocolatier. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good. It has kind of a weird taste to it. I think it's because it's probably made with Dutch chocolate. Which is the best chocolate in the world. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so this is the peanut cheese. Mm-hmm. It sounds... Which is basically peanut sounds... butter. The name of it sounds gross, but it's probably gonna taste. And this is like all. This is like if you've ever bought um, all natural peanut butter, the kind that's not emulsified with all the hydrogenated oils. Um, you know, the oil will float to the top, you and you kind of have to oils. start. You have to start in. That's kind of the consistency of this peanut butter. So it's like pretty much ground up peanuts. All right. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Very very peanut. Peanutty peanut butter. Wow. It's like a teeny, Very good. teeny bit more mm -hmm. grimy. Yummy. Honey. It's literally honey. <laughs> yeah. Which I oh, love. No. I love honey and Parker butter. Parker does not like honey. Oh, you don't? Mm -mm. But it's Dutch honey, okay. though, so you'll get the chance, right? Actually, the honey would be really good on the peanut butter. Taste mm -hmm. it. Mmm. So sweet. Very, very good. Okay, so this is the. Apple stroop. She said apple. it's apple syrup, and she said she's not personally a fan of Whoa. the flavor. Bargain. To me, it's, it almost tastes and or smells like uh, sort of prunes, like prunes. Yeah, um, Uncle Elton, he used to make sorghum, and we would always get sorghum, and that was one of our favorite snacks. And now he's 90? No, he's almost 100. He's almost 100, so he this can't make apple it This is apple syrup. Basically, it's cooked down apple. It smells a lot like sort of. Ready? Ready? Apple syrup. Taste it. It tastes just like sorghum. With a little bit of fruity flavor. To me, it tastes like prunes. It tastes like something I know. Sorghum. Prunes. It tastes like sorghum. Okay, now let's try this. Pringles. Butter? I don't have any softened butter. Oh well. Mm, like little tiny boxes inside of it. But this is what we're this is what we're trying. The tiger nudies. <laughs> tiger nudies. The bacon. We'll take. We'll take. They look like Cheetos. They do look like Cheetos. Oh yeah, they do. <laughs> I just like put it on my nose. Okay, ready? You 
You can definitely taste the cheese. I honestly don't like it. And the bacon. You don't like it? It's good though. And then there's, there's a peanut in the middle. In between, but I'd rather not. Not a big fan. Not a fan? Nope. I like it. Okay. Wait, now we gotta try our chocolate. Like how many times are you gonna get Dutch chocolate? Maybe. One time. Yeah. It's very good. You know those Rollo commercials where the girl on the couch bites into the Rollo? Everything slows down and she turns does. into like caramel and chocolate. Uh-huh. The only thing we haven't tried are the sprinkles. Sprinkles. Butter, 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 butter. But she said they eat them with butter. Butter. That would make them stick better, I'm sure. Yes. I want to try. They're good. Oh, that's, that's not really good. Okay, so there's the dark chocolate one. Almost kind of fruity. Yeah. Uh, are good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you again to Sonia. This was really fun. All of these treats are really, really delicious. I'm drooling. And of course, I'll have to uh, fill you in on the spice and the uh, the cocoa powder. I'll try to work up, find the recipe to go with the Dutch chocolate and with the um, speculos. Is that how you say that? Anyway. All right. Well, thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the description box below and until next time.